Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems and today we're going to be taking a look at what's new in SOLIDWORKS Inspection for 2015. So in the past, if you've ever used a SOLIDWORKS Inspection add-in before, you may have noticed that it's a little bit difficult um, to control perhaps the shape and the position of the balloons when you compare it to the standalone side of SOLIDWORKS Inspection, which is a lot easier. Um, in the past, if you wanted to start a project inside the add-in and then move over to the standalone, it was a little bit of a uh, jumping through hoops kind of process but now we have a dedicated button inside of the add-in that allows us to export the partially ballooned inspection drawing to a SOLIDWORKS inspection project document so that we can open it up in the standalone and make some edits in there. Another thing that we could do is perhaps import CMM data if, uh, we, if that was important to us which as we know we cannot do inside of the SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in. So let's go ahead and add um, a or export rather our SOLIDWORKS inspection to a project and I'm going to go ahead and call this the idler arm and stick it on the desktop. And we'll save that. And now I can go ahead and open this up inside of SOLIDWORKS Inspection on its own. So if we open up the standalone SOLIDWORKS Inspection software. We can go over here. Instead of New Project, we'll go to Open Project. And now we'll go to that desktop and find the idler arm that I just saved in that IXPRJ a file format which is the uh, file extension for SOLIDWORKS inspection projects. We'll go ahead and open it. And what we get is the same exact drawing that we had in SOLIDWORKS. It's automatically been uh, semi-converted to a PDF format. It's in the, uh, the SOLIDWORKS inspection project format right now but when we're done we can export it. It'll go to a PDF format. And then here we have the balloons that we added earlier. Now notice that in here they're a little bit small and they're uh, not quite uh, in the position maybe ideally that we would like them in. So the nice thing from here is we can go ahead and actually select all of these. So let's go ahead and select all of our balloons here and we can make them a bit larger. That's easier to read there. And maybe we could drop down the fit a little bit to make them a little tighter. And then, just like any other normal SOLIDWORKS inspection uh, project file, we can go ahead and manipulate the uh, balloons there as a batch or in groups or individually. So for example, if I want my GD and T tolerances to have different balloon shapes, I could come up here now and change this very easily to like a triangle, uh, perhaps change the uh, outside border color here to black and the inside fill to yellow. And then we'll change the letter coloring here to black as well. And once we're happy with those, we can actually kind of just zoom in here to the drawing and clean things up a little bit just by moving things a little off to the side here, making it very clear what these belong to. And just like that, we were able to take our SOLIDWORKS inspection drawing that we started in the add-in, export it over to the standalone, and then very quickly make some edits to the balloon so that we get a cleaner, nicer looking uh, visual for our drawing, for our balloon drawing. And in this case, we can also um, do additional manipulations. We could come in here and add additional balloons to some of these other characteristics, uh, perhaps import CMM data if we had some to go ahead and try to uh, check all of these dimensions for pass or failure, um, and then export our report. So it's not necessary anymore to stay inside the environment of the add-in. You can work in both ways or split up the work. It's entirely up to you now that we have that export to inspection project button. If you like this uh, What's New for 2015, be sure to check back to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.